You may have heard about Kentucky's In God We Trust bill that passed earlier this year, but probably don't know it's part of the legacy of a teen killed in the Marshall County school shooting. That law requires all schools post the national motto and has been a source of controversy. Political editor Chris Williams has the backstory. A cool autumn rain washed away Marshall County's fall colors. This community's tears have only begun to cleanse minds of memories from an awful day 22 months ago. The moment gunfire echoed through the high school halls. Preston Cope's family should be preparing for graduation. Instead, they're bracing for the trial of a classmate accused of killing the teen. The physical wounds have healed here at Marshall County High School. Those impacted are still dealing with the emotional and psychological wounds. But as one family grieved, an art teacher offered an unexpected source of hope and joy, a message that reverberated far beyond Marshall County High School. It was a blessing. It was, it was the best gift ever. Given to them on one of the hardest days of their lives. Memories played out like home movies on the day of Preston's funeral. And as the whirlwind of well-wishers settled, the Cope family spotted this photo frame on their living room floor mixed with a heap of flowers and cards. We, we wasn't really for sure what it was, but uh, when I seen them God we trust, I thought that's, that's profound. With no note attached, a curious Brian Cope gently opened the back. Oh, nice, neat, folded letter, and I opened it up and... They began to read. Dear Cope family, these pictures, These pictures were taken, were taken by Preston for photography projects. projects we did in an arts appreciation class. As the words flowed, so did emotions. The art teacher was seeing Preston's last picture through new perspective. On the realism project in particular spoke to me as what I believe. What I believe Preston would want us all to keep in our hearts and minds as we move forward. In God we trust. He snapped the nation's motto with his cell phone, an assignment to take a picture of something real to him. As I was reading it, we just broke down. That's what was in his heart. It just reassured me where he was at a time that I needed to know that. He trusted in God. He had faith in God. That's what he had. Friend Jacob Roberts was with Preston when he took the picture. And that was the first thing Preston went to. Stood out to him. Jacob went back there with us and Brian Cope, who had never been inside the art room. It's hard to be in the school, um, but I just have to say, I just feel like that uh, he would want me to. I wish he was right here. I could tell him how proud I was of him. This picture would become part of a movement at the state capitol. A bill requiring the nation's motto, In God We Trust, be placed in schools had passed in other states but failed in Kentucky. The Copes, art teacher, and representative Brandon Reed shared copies of Preston's photograph and story. It proved enough to inspire a legislative victory. Passage also brought with it the long-lived debate of church and state separation. It's just been a, a journey this last year and a half. But Coming back to this place where his son stood, if only for one frame, um, grateful that you told me that you was with him because I, I I haven't asked a lot of questions but uh, you know I think when you told me uh, that it just wow <sighs> was an exercise in healing for Brian it's a process he doubts he'll ever fully master but staring at this place the sight of that picture and knowing that it's become part of Preston's legacy brings some comfort to his broken heart he's smiling I know he's smiling right now he's smiling Dad, it was just a simple picture, but it's more than that. It's more than that. In Marshall County, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.